Hi, I'm Matt with E-Trailer. Today we're going to be talking about the Seasucker Monkey Bars on top of a 2023 Nissan Murano. Now this is going to be a great option for you for a couple of reasons. First reason is if you need to take on and off your crossbars a lot, it's going to be really good for that. Another reason why this is going to be a great option for the Nissan Murano is because since we have flush rails today, it doesn't have a whole lot of options. So since the sea suckers are a universal mount that go directly to your roof, our system today is going to be comprised of two parts. And the first part is going to be our 48 inch round crossbars. You're going to be able to put clamp on accessories onto these. And what's really nice about these is when you need to store them, you can actually unscrew them so they take up less space. And beneath that, we're going to have the suction cups. And the way that's going to work is you're going to have plungers on both of these. And beneath our crossbar, we're going to have our sea suckers. They're going to grab onto your crossbar with this clamp. And then the way they attach to your roof, it's going to be with these cups. And you put these cups on top, you'll just press this plunger on the side and that will remove all the air. Now we can get some measurements on how it's going to sit up here. So the first one is going to be our overhang. That's also going to depend on where you have the suction cups located. Today we got it pretty close to this ridge we have on top of our roof. Since you won't be able to put it on top of that ridge because it's going to interfere with that suction cup, this is going to give you a pretty accurate as far as what's the furthest point you can put the cups. And that's going to be a little bit over seven inches. So that's going to give you plenty of room to put any clamp on accessories at the very end of here. As far as how it's going to sit at the very edge of your vehicle, it's going to sit pretty flush with the top of your roof. And as for the distance we have underneath that crossbar, that's going to be a little bit over four inches. So since you will be putting uh, clamp on accessories on top of here, that's important because if you have anything very large, it can make contact with your roof. But since this is four inches, that's quite a bit of room. So unless you have some very large clamps, you won't make contact with the roof. And the overall height is going to add it is going to be a little bit under five and a half inches. Now that's something to keep in mind when you are going under any low clearance areas. So what I'd recommend doing is taking the total height of your vehicle plus your crossbars and then add on any accessories you have on top of that so you know what you can make it under. Now going over to your rear crossbar, it's going to have a few different measurements. Your overhang is going to be the same because we have the same length bar, but the distance underneath is going to change. So underneath is going to be about three and a half inches and the total height it's going to add is going to be four and a half inches. So that's going to be a little bit less room than your front crossbar. Something else I'd like to add for how it does fit up here is something I really do like about them is you can pretty much put them wherever you want on top of your roof since it is a universal fit that mounts directly to the roof. Now keep in mind if you do shift your front crossbar all the way to the front by your windshield, I wouldn't recommend that because it could give you an uneven fit for putting on those accessories. Now for what you can put up here, you're going to be able to put on any clamp on accessories and load this up to a maximum of 150 pounds. Now what I'd recommend doing is just making sure you know what your roof is rated for and then after that going from the lowest rated component. And one other feature of the sea suckers and how they attach is they're not going to have any locking mechanism. So the best option for you in that case is when you're not using it just to take it off of your roof since it is really easy to take on and off and break it down and store it in the back of your car. Now overall, I think this is going to be a great option for you because like I said earlier, there's not a whole lot of options for flush rails for the Nissan Murano. And what else I like about it too is just how easy it is to take on and off. And when you are storing it, it is really easy to break down and store in the back of your car. As far as the installation, it's pretty straightforward. But if you need a hand with it, just stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it. To start off our installation, we're going to lay everything out. So the first thing we're going to have is going to be our round crossbars. Then after that, we're going to have the sea suckers that suction to your roof. And then we're going to have an included Allen key to tighten everything down. Now, if you notice, we already have half of our crossbars installed, and that's going to be our rear half. When we're installing the front, front half, it's going to be very similar. The only difference with it, though, is instead of just having one per side, 
we're gonna have two suction cups per side. To start off, I like to screw my crossbars together. So you're just gonna thread this on until it's flush. Before we can put our crossbar on our sea suckers, what I like to do is loosen up this bolt that loosens up this clamp, because this might be a little tight and it'll be hard to put on here at first. After when both sides are loosened up, we're just gonna take that crossbar, run it through that bracket, and do the same thing for the other side. And at this point, you can just lightly tighten them down. We don't wanna tighten them down all the way because we might wanna adjust it still. Before we put our sea suckers up here though, we wanna make sure we clean the surface of our roof. And that's just because we don't wanna damage it when it suctions onto the top of it. You just wanna clean it with some soapy water and a towel. And the last step before putting our sea suckers on top of our roof is removing these caps from the suction cups. And before we get it up there, we wanna make sure this is in the right orientation with these plungers facing behind us to the rear of the car. You might need a friend to help you, but these are pretty light, so they are easy to get on top of your roof. And we're just gonna roughly place them and then fix them up in our next step. To fix this up, I like to make sure that each suction cup sitting at the same distance. So I measure from the front of that suction cup to what I like to measure is the front of the windshield. I wanna make sure that's gonna be the same on both of them. And after that, I also like to make sure nothing's impeding how the suction cups are sitting, so nothing's underneath them, preventing it from suctioning all the way down. And then the last thing that I like to do is adjust the overhang on the crossbar. That's why we didn't tighten it down all the way yet, so we can easily adjust that. And how that's gonna look is just by measuring from that clamp all the way to the end of the crossbar and making sure that's the same on both sides. And the final measurement I like to get is the distance from the C sucker to our rails. And that's gonna be about three inches. You just wanna make sure that's gonna be even on both sides. Now the next step is gonna be suctioning these down to your roof. And that's a really simple process. All you have to do is apply pressure to the top of it and plunge that plunger. You're gonna keep plunging that until you can't see the orange line anymore. After when you've done that, you repeat the process for the rest of them. Now the last step is just to make sure nothing's moved on your crossbar. So just double check that measurement, make sure it's still the same. If it is, then we can start tightening these crossbars down. And that's just gonna be taking that Allen key and tightening up that bolt we loosened up earlier. And after when you have your front crossbar on, you can uh, put on your second one. And when you place it, it's gonna depend on your crossbar spread and what you want it to be. So if you have any accessories, you can find out what their crossbar spread needs are. And after when you found that out, you just wanna measure from the front of one crossbar to the front of the other one and make sure it aligns with that. And when they're both on there, just give it a good shake test. Make sure it's feeling steady. If it is, then you put on whatever accessories you have up there and then take it for a ride. But if you liked everything you saw today, that was just a look at the installation and some of the features of the Sea Sucker Monkey Bars on top of the 2023 Nissan Murano.